Brian Sondag. Hey guys. Coming into the booth. Congratulations. Brian, who Thank made you. your deck? Did you make this deck? I've been working on this deck for about a month now. Um, this this deck, in my opinion, is going to be the breakout deck. Yeah. Like I mean, of we, states, right? we, we we covered you multiple times yesterday. It's like the first we covered you in the Kibler match where you were manuscript against Kibler the first time, right. and then the first Valenti match. We covered you actually in the top eight, the top four, and the finals because right. you had the most interesting deck right, yeah. for, by a mile. <laughs> and like we were saying, like this is just like this actually is better than Valakit. Yeah, no, it, it looks really like Valakit. It looks like Valakit, right. but it doesn't what, have these like. Every time I show it to someone, they look at it and they're just like. This is Valakut. Yeah. But it doesn't have like the the, the idiot <laughs> terramorphic right. experience. Right. This, this like, is Valakut, but it's fun. Like yeah. it's just like there's no like they're like you're playing a mono green deck with fifteen mountains. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> like I I love your I mean, I would never play it because I have a personal rule to never play green. <laughs> but I uh, but I because I love green so much. But I, I this deck is so so impressive. Right. Um, yeah, I, I had a friend um bring up the interaction of Primeval Titan searching for the, the wolf run and the Nexus, and the Nexus yeah. MG, you know, it's kind of like, oh, that's cute. Right. Like, that's funny. And then you try it out and it's, it's like, like, this not is really all. good. Like, right. Yeah. That was it like gives the exact you so reaction, much reach like, against everything. The so, exact reaction with the Phantasmal Image Sun Titan, people were like, yeah, that's cute. Right, exactly. That's not going to happen. But you, did you ever all the time. find that you were like running out, like in the, some of the long games against like the heavy removal, uh, like Valenti, like he was so disciplined holding his Doom Blades right. for your... Your ink it, I felt like sometimes you would run out of threats, though. Is that true? I mean, honestly, the two games I played against Valenti, where he doombladed all four of my <laughs> Nexus, that's the first time that's ever happened. I've done. Is it only guy that? Yeah, that's because like Medina just randomly doombladed your two one. Right. I, I, I just looked at it. And I'm like, you can't doomblade anything but a Nexus, or right. you're dead. Because yeah, usually it's like I throw out some Titans and they start killing the Titans, yeah. and then eventually cool. you just get there with the Nexus. But yeah, Christian was real good at just being waiting for the Nexus to attack and getting it. Yeah, there's yeah. no other way you can win. Right. And I, I'm pretty sure he has, he had three, he has three, three Doom Blades, Blades and only two Snapcasters. <laughs> right. And he, he had three, he he had three combined Snapcasters. Four. Oh, did he yeah. have three? Yeah, I think so. So yeah. I was just, every time yeah, it's like, three. there's no way he has the fourth. Yeah. Oh, He's always had it. Um, so, so, do you ever want the fourth Primeval Titan? It started with four Primeval Titans and two Worm Coils. Um, and I just decided with the Uprising with Mono Red and the fact that I have four Zenith to get a Titan, I was go three and three. Um, I've never really wanted the fourth. Okay. Um, I mean, with virtual seven copies, it's always seemed like enough. Yeah, so, so Kibler and I were talking about that. He th he likes the fact that you have the third worm point. Right. Too, so. Yeah, I, I thought... I, I was a little weak to aggro sometimes, so I didn't get the right draw, so I, I really liked having the third Do you ever really want to have, like... A, we were talking about yesterday a lot, especially against the blue black decks. Like, um, we thought Batter Soul was just better yeah. than, than Worm Coil Engine a lot of the time. Do yeah. you ever think about playing that? I have a lot, actually. Um, I was considering cutting a, maybe one or two copies of Garrick as well. Sometimes I get a second that copy. Guy was I know. No. No. no, I'm, I'm convinced <laughs> you change the other mind. way now. <laughs> <laughs> like, all day I'm playing against these like, mono red decks, and she's like, oh, this Garrick's okay. I kind of wish it was a Batter Skull. And then you play against the Solar Flare decks, and you're just like, Garrick is awesome. Well, Batter Skull's yeah. also awesome against the Solar That's Flare true. decks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. To never <laughs> kill it. <laughs> I mean, did you build the deck with kind of expecting a lot of Solar Flare? There's so much. Yeah, just, just I mean, I in testing Solar Flare was one of the decks I tested against the most. Okay. Your deck's just awesome against Solar Flare. Right, it's yeah, just there's just so many must-answer threats, and then you just get there with the Nexus. Wait, if they don't know how to play, the, they can never beat the Inkmark right. Nexus Wolf Run. Like They're like, oh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Like It's a turn 20 game. You're like, actually, here's a Nexus, brah. Right. Like, right. <laughs> it has nine power. <laughs> right. If you kill this one, you got another one coming next turn. Uh, let's see. What's, what would you change? Anything? I mean... I was, if I can fit batter skulls in somewhere, that's that, what I was what thinking. What about the tree? Is trees. it batter skull better than the tree? I mean, trees you can search with the green, the green sun. Oh, okay. That's and it. I mean, the trees have been awesome every time I play them, so I, I would not cut the trees. Um, I don't know. Batter skull is the one card that I was considering trying to fit in somewhere, so I'd, I don't know. I'd have to investigate that. You're thinking about playing some janky thing like shock or arc trail? Because, like, if your weak matchup is mono red, yeah, just like well, throw I mean, out like a uh, whatever, like a copper line gorge, you just like nug their strong for noble. They never get there. right. I mean, actually, mono red is not a bad matchup. Actually, I beat it like three times. So okay, so um, it's uh, the, the emissaries are so good against yeah. them. They, you throw out one, and they've got a, no, a strong Kirk noble, and they're just like what's his? What? Is he an elf? What is he? I, th I think I he's an elf. Remember. I think so. Well, you're not a human, right? Like right. all that matters is he's not right, a human. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think he's an elf. Yeah, um, especially post sideboard when you've got like four slag storms and two trees and four emissaries and three worm coils. The mono red match is really Wait, good. Okay. 
I mean, this like, and it seems so forgiving, right? Like, right. Like you can, you can like, oh man, I didn't play that turn right, but then you're like, oh, never mind. Here's like 17 power. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh well. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll just draw six with my Garrick. It is. It's what such what an is a bad deck. matchup? Like, you know, if mono red isn't that bad of a matchup, what is? What, what did mean, you feel like? I found I found nothing that was just like the hardest is the control ish matchup. Okay. Like solar flare. Really? Um, you work them every single time. Yeah, I mean, like, it's always so close. Maybe, yeah, it's, it's just like, a battle. I feel like I do win more than 50% of the time, but it's just a battle the whole yeah. way. Well, oh, I mean, see. there's so many haymakers coming. Right. You know, you're just like From primeval sides. type, and they're like the, sun type. The match is always and... really fun, because it's like, here's my bomb, and they're just like, well, yeah. You never hey, played against mine. Caleb, did you? No, I never did. His deck is like mono instant speed removal, so. Yeah, it would have been pretty rough. good against the... That yeah. would have been way better against the Nexuses. Right. Right. Yeah, Definitely. it's deck lists like this are where the the Sword of Peace and Famine are a lot better against deck, mm. decks like this. It's yeah, sometimes it's not even that good against Solar Flare. Really? Right? Yeah. We like, thought that you stuck like, it and like as soon right. as you put I it mean, on the ends, he was that done. match. I mean, if they just don't have the Sun Titan or Phantasmal Images or something, I mean, a lot of times they'll, the decks are playing Warm Coils now. Like a mm. lot of them have two or three, and then. But in your deck, like you, you get that spot. Like his only out is to spend a ton of mana on his own turn to play a defensive thing. Like even if it's an right. O ring, right? You just move it onto the nexus and just slam right, that's him with your, that. It's like, so good with the nexus, especially when you got multiples out, because then they it's like equip. They have to doom blade it, then you can equip it to a different one. So it's real good with the nexus. Um, I don't know. I'll have to to see how I like the swords moving forward. Um, when I was doing some of my preliminary testing, the decks. Had more like Grave Titans, and not, they, they didn't have the Sun Titan package yet that people have adopted over the you, past week or so. You sided the Sword End against Kibbo, though, right? Yeah. It was awesome against him, right? Too, right? I was yeah. just like, hmm, his creatures are all green. This seems good. This, this right? seems fine, yeah. What, what do you think? What was your uh, the best card in the in the deck, if you had to pick one? Was it? I mean, I feel like I have an answer, but I don't know. I want to know from your I mean, perspective, obviously. It's got to be Garrick or the. Just Titans getting. Really? I would have think it was Green Sun Zenith. And I think it's Keswick Wolf Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> well, Green Sun Zenith is a yeah. primeval Titan that gets a Keswick Wolf Run. Right. I mean, it, it's okay. all that's they're also yeah. redundant. All the cards are good. Yeah. Oh, None of the cards deck. are bad. Well, that's right. kind of a good thing. If we all picked the same card. Yeah. I mean, there you go. It would be. Like, Kibler okay, would have said Viridian like Emissary. Right. Yeah. That guy is so good. I just think the Wolf Run is just such a uh, huge threat. Yeah. Because it just represents a win. In so many different situations, where right. you're like, well, you I'm in Garrick and a beast. Yeah, and, and all, you like top, you top like a solemn or something. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, actually, he has ten power with my yeah, wolf run. Yeah. Everything is, that is two wolf runs enough. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, for a while, I just had one actually because oh, really? I, I only wanted. But sometimes you people were executing. That was the other thing. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, that's a that's an interaction yeah. that I didn't catch for a long time. So. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hey, it's a. I, was like, I can target my opponent's just... creatures. I was yeah. like, oh. yeah. I, I think Kes, I think two wolf runs is definitely the right number. Okay, because you got like seven, seven right. prime evils. And sometimes you'll run into you don't want too many colorless lands because you've got Slagstorms and Garrick with triple green. And sometimes that gets awkward if you don't draw a duel. Is this crazy? What if you played a went one island in your sideboard and then you just had mana leak? So you're like your opponent's just <laughs> you like, just but you're like, actually mana leak oh, yeah, on tap uh, prime evil titan. Like <laughs> seems uh. <laughs> Seems awesome, but maybe yeah. a little greedy. Yeah. <laughs> I like Man Uh Just um, yesterday when we watched you against Valenti in game yeah. one, it took 45 minutes. Yeah, um, that was, that was <laughs> we, uh, we were surprised that you didn't go on the, like, the Nexus. Yeah, you had no yeah. instance. Yeah. You were just attack my, with yeah, the Nexus. I think my biggest problem playing the deck is that I'm too conservative on the Nexus plan, because usually yeah. I, use, I use it as a plan B. It's oh. like... Here, here's my here's my Titans and Warm Coils. Yeah. Like, if you answer them, oh, I just tend you with my Nexus. That's funny because we watched you play like six times and you were just crushing people with Nexus every time. Right. We, we thought that's what your deck was supposed to do. Right. I mean, a lot of a lot of times, <laughs> if, if I know what's in their deck or I don't think they have the removal, it's just like, get you. But yeah. against the more controlish decks, I like to use it as a plan B. Maybe I'm not aggressive enough with it. Um, I heard someone saying they were, when they were watching that match, I could have just been getting yeah, in you there. Yeah, you could have killed him. He had Doom Blades in yeah. hand, and I just let him draw into the Doom Blades. <laughs> that's what we, we. That's yeah. how we felt. We felt like we I, I think I, won I definitely played that one wrong, which I tried to get more aggressive here in the, in the finals. And um, yeah, course, that's yeah, you were successful at like being you aggressive. Played, right. You played a lot differently in the finals. <laughs> right. That's what it looked like, and I don't know. You right. Know. I think I definitely learned from my match yesterday with him. Right. Uh, to get more aggressive. And you guys met again in the finals. It's like the best. Right. That was awesome. awesome. Yeah. Um, one one play that uh, we were we kept talking about it in yesterday's match, and we I think we we think you just maybe just missed it, mm -hmm. but uh, was when he he played Phantasmal Image and you didn't beast within the Grave Titan. Yeah. He, he played a, he played a Grave Titan, and then in and then secondly he plays a Phantasmal. 
Phantasmal Image. So what ended up happening was, you let the Phantasmal Image resolve, he made two more tokens with the Grave Titan, and then end of turn you killed his Grave Titan with Beast Within. Uh huh. Right. Like, a turn or two later, his extra tokens from the Phantasmal Image ended up taking down your Primeval Titan in combat. Mm -hmm. If you had responded to the right. Phantasmal Image with a, with a Beast Within, then right. he would have not gotten those right. two tokens. That's true. I, I don't. I don't remember the exact situation, but okay. I mean, especially when you get these long, convoluted games against. Oh, well, we thought player. you were going to win anyway, but right. then it turned out that those extra tokens. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I misplayed like ten times. Oh. Some we of those were just, it, was, it was just obviously when there's, you're watching from here. Uh -huh. it, it's yeah, a lot there's, there's, there's so much interaction yeah. every turn. It's, that's why it's a lot of fun, but there's so much room to make mistakes. Yeah, it seems like such a cool deck. This deck is really great. Yeah. I mean. If you guys are at home, especially if you're one of those people not like Joey, you don't love blue. Like <laughs> this deck seems so wicked to me. Yeah, like it's it's really good. I mean, I've been playing, I've been playtesting this for like a month now, basically since Wolf Run was spoiled. Yeah. Um, and I, I played it at Indy last week. I got a little unlucky. I went seven and three, but the deck felt really good, so I ran same, it again. Same seventy five. Uh huh. I think. Um, yeah, I think it was. I don't think I changed anything. The sex, I mean, yeah, it's so awesome. outstanding. I got. And it, it so it just goes over the top of like the rug decks or like the right. other others. Oh, we like the green because it does these elegant things. And right. we're like screw it's, that. It's almost I like a joke the green because I have the pod like decks too because they don't have instant speed removal. <laughs> just like yeah. play my primeval titan and now I just poison you. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Your so, thing is bigger than everybody else's right. thing. That's the. Uh... So if you're, are you playing in states next week? Yep, um, I plan on it. What are you most afraid of? I know we said what are your bad matchups. What are you afraid people adjusting? I guess is it just this is probably the worst. Right. You just don't. Want Hon to honestly, I yeah. I I played against a friend in the mirror match, mm -hmm. and it's just like a Valakun mirror match. It's oh, awful. Just, so I'm almost most afraid of people not playing this deck and just having. A I, I knew that was going to be his answer. All day. <laughs> it's so miserable because Garrick is like unbeatable in the mirror. Primeval yeah. Titans. Well, we got to figure mirror. out how to win the mirror then. I guess I got to start now working on the mirror right. tactics. Okay, so you know, so if, here's the thing. What's what do you do at four? Right, you have. Psalm some lacrim in the mirror on four is not that impressive, right? Right. You're gonna side out Slagstorm, right? It's not very yeah. good. Why don't you just play small Garrick? So you can go like rampant growth small Garrick or um, or bird small Garrick, and you don't have the option to big Garrick anymore. But neither do they. Right. And you get the first wolf, and they go they go big Garrick. You're like fine, I go big Garrick. Yeah. So like you're net a wolf. You killed their best card in the mirror match, and you still have big Garrick. You play the, the old Jace game, but with you play right. the, it's the Jace right. game exactly. But it's it's actually the same. That's interesting. You just play small Garrick. That's, that seems reasonable. Yeah, I, I, mean, like I guess it's worth trying. Too bad you can't Zenith for small Garrick, you know? You kind of can. <laughs> what do you mean you kind of can? Like, yeah. well, can. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, again, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Awesome deck. Thanks for uh, for joining us. And Great job. Super fun questions. to watch. Yeah, thanks, definitely. Guys. A lot of fun. So. Cool. Uh, we will be taking a break. We'll be rerunning.